we're going out to go and see what is around here but so far it is such a beautiful place it was really windy but it's not cold it's just the wind but really not cold it's called Pointings Brain Sands it's a lovely lovely place lots of activities for kids and we're just going out to explore what is around in the surroundings here <laughs> everybody jumbo karibu sana to my channel my name is sharon aka wabaraka if you are new here karibu sana you are very welcome if you are a returning subscriber again you are very welcome i keep telling you you are the reason why i keep coming back and coming back with more and more content don't mind me how i am today guys i know i'm not ready but guess what we are going away on holiday and i want you guys to come with us i'd started parking then i thought let me park with you guys so that you can see as we park and you guys get to come with us on our holiday so as we enjoy you guys as well get to enjoy with us if you have been watching my videos and you have not subscribed please do not go beyond this point before you subscribe so that you can get to enjoy more and more content so let's start packing we are not going today by the way i'm not one of those last minute dot commas me i like packing in advance so today i thought i still have a few days before i start my annual leave so i started my packing and i thought whilst i'm parking i'm going to bring you guys come and see as i park and then when we are going on holiday we are going to bring you with us come with us guys so i started putting things inside the suitcase then i thought why not bring you guys so that you can see as i pack this is um, a camera i'm going to be taking this camera this is what i normally use to record uh, the videos i also use a phone so i'm taking that with us and those are the clothes i'm packing that sells it we are going away on a holiday where there's going to be a beach it's going to be sunny it's going to be lovely out there so we've got all our beach clothes ready and we are ready to pack some of these things are going to go in the bigger suitcase because we're going for like a week and therefore we need to take enough clothes that's going to last us for a week we can't wait to see you guys in our holiday so that you can enjoy with us like i said we're not leaving today i'm just packing and being a bit organized before we leave wow guys so we are all set for our holiday you remember i told you me i start packing early so packing is now finished everything is ready and we are now ready to leave for our holiday and we want you guys to come with us hey what's up everybody today is the big day the d day that we have been waiting for we are all ready to set off for our holiday. Everything is now packed up and I want you guys to come with us. So guys, we are ready. We are ready to take off. We are driving to uh, our destination. We are going to a place called Somerset. Um, it's supposed to be a beautiful place it's in the coast side of uh, the uk so you guys come with us so that you can enjoy the coastal side of the uk it's a different place we've never been there and as we enjoy you also get to enjoy with us so what i'm going to be doing is i need to go and fuel my car because we need to have a full tank so that we can get over there 
and once we fuel then we'll be on our way all right so we're still on the road we want you to see some of these places uh, this is like uh, make one of it's called a snake pass it's one of the very thin roads we're now coming into the motorway and we're just going to vlog a little bit until we get into the motorway then if we find some nice places we vlog and we'll show you around here just so you can get to see what are the places so now we are getting into the motorway Oh, and the speed limit in the motorway is 40 so that's going to be oh my goodness <laughs> that's going to take us forever look at the state of the motorway we'll never get there no it was green Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the state of that motorway. We have a four hour journey, and that is how the motorway is. Dude! A four hour journey might end up being six hour journey. To Tawambia, how we get there. We'll let you know. Gee, hey, now this motorway, guys, like you can see, there's so much traffic, and it's not even moving quick enough. So our four hour journey might end up being six hours or so to Tawambia when we get there how long it took us but this is not exciting driving in this slow traffic. Uh, I guess a lot of people are going on holiday in summer holiday around here in the UK and it looks like most people are headed for holiday. And that is why the road situation around here on both sides of the motorway like you can see is fully packed with cars but let's see how long it's going to take us guys imagine we have had to take another motorway and even this one like you guys can see there's still a lot of traffic this is the start of the school summer holiday over here like I said there before and it looks like everybody has decided to go on holiday this uh, this uh, today and hence the reason why there's all this traffic so i don't know when we'll ever get there but hopefully we get there and we get there safely so this is This place is beautiful, so nice, so beautiful. Look at that other side. Absolutely beautiful. The traffic situation has not changed. We're just moving a little bit faster, but this is not the normal speed for a motorway. We should be able to be moving faster. There is no much traffic, but now the speed limit is only 40. I want to show you farmhouses around here. This is Cheshire. If you ever move to England and you come to Cheshire, this is how it looks like. It's East Cheshire, this place. And there's lots of farms like you can see. Well, maybe you can't see it. But there's some farms around here and also they're giving signs of warning there could be animals crossing so drive carefully yeah. all right guys we've just taken
taken a little break to have something to eat before we continue on our journey. Our three hour journey has turned out to be six hours because of all that traffic. So at the moment, we are having something to eat and then we can go on with our journey to make you for a short break. Okay, so this place, guys, is called Wolverhampton. UK and you end up in a place called Wolverhampton. Don't ask, ask me where that is. I really don't know. But this is how this place looks. Wolverhampton. Telford, these sides. I'm just going to keep it rolling for a little bit. Traffic in and uh, starting stopping. So, even if a mambo you leave the quad ground, from the time we set off, we've not been into a place where there hasn't been traffic. Traffic has just been on throughout. It's just a very short section that we escaped traffic. What were over Hampton to Mewasalimia? Leave the roundabout at the second exit. Hello to you from Manchester. And the houses, they're all the same everywhere you go. So we'll go around this roundabout.
I drive.
we are on a road trip we are enjoying our oh my goodness don't cross he almost right caught that guy yards and continue to follow the a38 To buy cars that's a place for this is what ford i don't know actually it's a ford motor dealership this one so those are the cars that they are selling over there magari ni nyingi za kununua choice is yours on a normal day to go to birmingham from Manchester usually takes us like about an hour and a half to two hours so you can imagine when I say that we've been on the road for four hours plus from Manchester that traffic has been terrible 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 usually it shouldn't take that long but it's taken that long because of um, the crazy traffic that we encountered that's Birmingham for you This is Birmingham. Is this guy hawking honestly? What is he doing in the middle of the road? Anaomba <laughs> pesa. understand it but this high street for me I think they all look the same it's not much different from the high streets that we have in Manchester I think they're pretty much all the same so high street means it's like uh, the town I don't know how to explain it it's the main town of that area so this is the main town of Birmingham See, these are Asian's shop that I was telling you about and you get to um, get African thing African food from some of these shops so this 
these are residential places around here. You know, like this city is called, I mean, not the city, the town. The town inside Birmingham is called Mosley. Big shout out to Watua Mosley if you are there. Salamu kutoka Manchester. So high street means that you have like um, some designer shops so you can see that's new look clerks uh, the banks are here so a high street will have uh, shops and all the amenities for this local area and that is what it looks like for this particular area I can't tell you exactly I don't know if you're still in this uh, town called mostly or we've come off it I don't know I am not from around here, so I really can't tell you, but I just want you guys to see how the UK looks like in some of these cities and towns. And I know it's confusing when you see cities and towns. It's just like uh, if you're watching from Kenya, Bilakuna, Nairobi is what, a city? And then these towns, small, small towns. So this is a small town within the big city of Birmingham. Those are residential houses around here. The roads are not any different from the roads that I am used to in Manchester. No much difference, they are all the same. But it's good to be able to see um, inside the city also to get to see the residential areas obviously this is just a small portion of Birmingham like I said Birmingham is a very big city it's the next biggest city after London so, in a way it was a blessing in this case for the traffic because ordinarily would have just had to travel on the motorway and never ever get to go inside some of these cities and see me particularly actually Birmingham the only time I've ever passed Birmingham is on the motorway so I've never been inside so I mean I enjoy like you guys are enjoying so I said traffic is Ilianza Pusonga we can now drive at a faster speed these things on the road the musical chimney they're usually supposed to space out the distance between the car in front of you so you're not driving too close to the car in front of you they're called chevrons and they're supposed to space out the distance so that you can be able to keep your distance
had been going to Kenya would also have arrived a long time ago. So, the Lugona Fury UK is a small island. It is not quite exactly small. If we've been driving for all that long and we're still not there yet. to a Bristol. How are you Ni? We are in Bristol. This is how Bristol looks like, your guys. Uh, actually, I didn't even know Somerset is in Bristol. Now I know Somerset is in Bristol. So, this is, uh, I don't know, the residential places. Some of the residential places around here. It's a very narrow road, as you can see. But it's very beautiful around here. So we're nearly in our destination and we are going to show you as we arrive our destination. Well, Wase, finally to Mefika. Oh my goodness, that was the longest journey. Let me come out and show you guys around here. That was the longest road trip. But it's a nice, beautiful place. Wah, 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 wah. Right, so we're going to check in first. Uh, let's go and check in and then I'm going to show you around to Mechoka. A journey that was supposed to be three hours has ended up being eight hours. But the most important thing is that we are here, we thank God we've had journey masses and let's check in and then we'll catch up with you guys later on. and good morning from Somerset. My name is Sharon aka Wabaraka and if you have followed my previous video you know that we have come on holiday. We are currently now in Somerset. We have woken up well, we have rested, we had a very long journey driving here yesterday and I was not able to do any more video because obviously by the time we got here it was dark so this morning we have woken up we are going to be going around this place we'll show you around again don't mind me i'm getting myself ready and dressed up and we'll be on our way so that you guys can come with us we have taken an apartment uh, where we are it's a three bedroom apartment and we are enjoying ourselves we've had a good rest so we just now want to go and explore what is around here. If you are new here, you are very welcome. Karibu sana to my channel. If this is your first time, please do not forget to subscribe to my videos. If you are a returning subscriber, again, you are the reason why I keep coming back to bring you more and more content. So keep watching. Come with us as we go and explore this area and see what is around here. Come with us. 
We are all ready. Nimejitayarisha. Actually just did my hair. Nilikuwa nisha oga. So we are now going to head out. Like I said, we go see what is around this area. It's supposed to be the coastal side. So we want to go out and see if we will find maybe the sea and what other activities there are out there around Somerset. And uh, yeah, and we get to enjoy. So come with us. Oh my good guys, it's so windy around over here, so I've literally had to come and change. You can even see how cold it is. This is a place where we are staying. All those uh, apartments around here. This is ours where we are. And uh, you can see how windy it is. Even my shirt, my shirt is being blown away. And now let's go and explore. There's a lot of indoors activities for kids that can play even if you're not going to go outside there's still so so much that you can do around here and we just want to go and see what there is out there all right guys let's go it's your fault lorraine like you can see it's a beautiful place and uh, at the moment let me just show you it's called Pointings Green Sands it's a lovely lovely place lots of activities for kids and we're just going out to explore what is around in the surroundings here so we're going out to go and see what is around here but so far it is such a beautiful place it was really windy but it's not cold it's just the wind but really not cold <laughs> guys so we've come to the beach and look how windy it is it is extremely windy um i'm gonna go near the beach i just wanted you to see this nice scenery but it is really really windy so i'm going to go in there and you get to see what is around here all right The situation around here look at all that sand and it's like I'm going down the hill 
full of sand. There it is. It's soft sand. This place is absolutely beautiful. I wish you guys can see with uh, the naked eyes what we can see. It doesn't look as good on camera as we can see it. So the camera is not giving it justice, but it is just amazing and lovely to be here and to just look around. And also, apart from us having a holiday and enjoying, I'm also giving you an experience. If you ever come to the UK and you're looking for a tourist destination, this place is called Somerset. You can get to enjoy with your family. You can bring your family here and you will enjoy it. All right, so this is how the beach around somerset is i can see all the beautiful sceneries around here guys it is lovely it is just extremely windy but you know what we are enjoying you can hear the kids in the background enjoying themselves so we're going to go into the next activity and we want you guys to come with us so this is uh, another place for activities eh? oh. Where there's lots of activities for kids, so we're just going to look around and see what they can play with around here. You have to aim and hit. Aim and hit. Oh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Go on. Aim and hit. Oh! Aye, aye, aye. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to hit. You know you have to pay. I know. You have to go. You have to go through. Why pay? I look so shady. Pay. Why? We're cheating. Pay. upstairs to see what is upstairs so car games over there if you've got more kids these are things for small kids as well. So there's activities for all sort of kids. Old, big.
And now on to bowling and we are going to see who is the best in this game. the machine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to try the biking game to see if I'm going to be able to beat these kids in the biking race 
I've never done this before, but I'm going to try and see. This one is called virtual reality. I really didn't know what to expect when I got in there. I don't know why you think this is fun, but it wasn't fun for me. Mom, are you okay? What are you talking about? Oh my god. This is a guy. This is a guy. How am I supposed to kill him? You're supposed to shoot them at me. I'm trying to The chair is moving. It makes it look so real and scary at the same time. Sharon, you're doing something. Get out of the way. Can you see me? He's gone. Oh. <laughs> what are we doing? Are we supposed to kill him? You can, you can close your eyes. <laughs> Let's 
to keep watching. I'm going to come out. I'm coming out. <laughs> We're not done yet. <laughs> this is us. Awesome. <laughs> We're not done yet. Oh no. Auntie, are you okay? Oh no. This is the channel of I said no. <laughs> Thank you. 